We are here in Petaluma, California, just north of San Francisco. And we're in the area because we're actually visiting one of my sisters who lives in Sebastopol. We ended up staying at the KOA in Petaluma, which actually happened to be the most expensive place we ever stayed in the last two years we've been at. So it was actually even more expensive than our stay in Florida during high season. So I'd ask them, wow, why is it so much? Basically, it was two reasons. One was because it is the closest RV park to the um, San Francisco area, but also just because they could. It actually is a pretty cool park. It's very family oriented. On the weekend, it gets jammed filled with kids. Great place to bring your family. They have so much to offer there. even have a mascot. This turkey was everywhere. So I visited my sister many times and one of the best things in the Sebastopol area is uh, the cafes and the um, restaurants and places like that. So this video is gonna be all about showing you some of my favorite and Bonnie's favorite um, cafes and restaurants. And we found one that was really unusual, the Russian, Russian house number one. It's a great buffet and there's no price. Good morning. It's my sister Bonnie and we are at the Hardcore Espresso Cafe, I guess I'm gonna call it. A really eclectic, kind of quirky place. So we're gonna <laughs> go find an odd spot to sit and I'll give you a little tour of it. This is a must go to place in Sebastopol. You're gonna love it. Let's go. Amazing features in this tree. We have chimes, we have flying pigs, we have prayer flags. <laughs> Over here we have a flying dolphin. All the different spots to actually sit. You can lose yourself in here. Oh my gosh, children's area. All the cool little plant areas that I totally dig. Nice. Wow. Not that we're intruding or anything, but yeah, that's cozy. Yeah. So this is something different. They didn't have that at the other place. Is this like an exchange? Bring something in, mm -hmm. take it if you need it, bring something you don't need. That's right. Wow, I love this place. <laughs> We're going to the front door. <laughs> We're no back door people here. We've got the inside for a rainy day. Again, all kinds of cool, quirky stuff. Can you get any of that tea? So look at that, Bonnie. <laughs> I am having fun. It's this, it's this fairy that I'm intrigued with. She keeps turning away from me though. Come on, don't be shy. Gotta ask yourself, where do they get all these things? Got something from the fire department. It's like somebody uh, turned a car into a chair. Clever but not comfortable, I'm sure looking for the hardcore espresso cafe can't miss it because it's got this huge chair right in front of it then inside here you can see there's a number of little huts that uh, seem to house different artists ah 
There you go, dance for me. So, so this business, this location has seen tons of different, different owners, restaurants, businesses. All of them usually failed within a year. Ooh. Wow. These guys have been here for four or five years. They have a great following, a great business, and it's, it's amazing. Yeah. I was so, getting worried that she's taking us to a place where the business fails all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. Bread Bakery is located just five miles west of Sebastopol, California. They're an absolute destination bakery. Check out the breads. They actually bake them with a wood fire oven, which is supposed to make the crust thicker and more flavorful. The bakery also has beautiful vegetable and flower gardens, plus a small orchard. Check out the garden, wow. Wow, that is so pretty. Don't touch these wires because these are electric. <laughs> yeah, with all these with all these kids in here. Well keep them in line. <laughs> <laughs> There's an area in the back that's perfect for roaming and enjoying your bakery and coffee. Here we are at the Russian house number one. The Russian House Number 1 is about 20 miles west of Sebastopol on the Russian River and very close to the ocean. They've got an outdoor patio too that's overlooking the Russian River. This restaurant is owned by two Russian women that wondered why the Russian River area did not have a Russian restaurant. So they opened it. They serve only buffet style with a variety of Russian food. And it was amazing. The buffet is all you can eat and there's no price. But it actually has a twist that involves community and enlightenment. Mark. <laughs> really good. I can't wait to go to Russian restaurant number two. <laughs> Russian house this number is number two. one, right? Yeah. <laughs> One of the owners is quoted saying, our goal is spreading enlightenment and consciousness. You pay according to your conscience. Okay, you know, sometimes when you find a good thing, you stick with it. That's kind of why I married Mark, actually. He's a good thing for me. And that's actually also why I hang out with my family. Not that I found my family. I think we found each other, but it's a good thing. So our good thing today is going to be the Fork Roadhouse having breakfast once again. When I wake up in the morning, drinking coffee on my balcony, trees are dancing. Look at that smile. To the whistle of the wind. Lord, I'm okay, there's a problem with this burger. I'm not sure if I can safely eat this because it is quite large. But I figured out that all I got to do is take this out, so I'm good. <laughs> and this is what we're having. Yum! This is why we're back. Right. Mark is trying to do this. Oh, got As you can see, when we pick our cafes and restaurants, there's two things that are important to us. First of all, we really want good food, good coffee, but the second thing is the atmosphere. 
as you can tell we like the more quirky original unique kind of atmospheres so so if you like our video make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell leave a comment let us know what what are your favorite places in what area doesn't matter where it could be anywhere it could be around Petaluma Sebastopol could be in Florida let us know what you think thanks for watching sha, sha, sha. yeah when I wake up in the morning drinking coffee on my balcony trees are dancing to the whistle of